What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back on our Tales of the Rays video. I'm going to do a quick little breakdown here as to how you are supposed to reset the Arc 1 story. Now, I'm not going to physically do it yet because um, I do still have a lot of stuff here I can kind of like farm out. Uh, the nice thing about this is it doesn't force reset it for you. So, you'll open up the game, you'll notice the rewards are not reset. That's because you physically have to do it yourself. But we're going to go over a couple things first. So, obviously, I'm probably not going to do everything here because there's a lot of stuff that's just, like, kind of annoying. And it's mostly... Ignore that charging uh, thing. Um, it's mostly stuff like use a certain amount of mirror jarts. Like this one. Let's see what this one says. Um, I think this one is probably just, like, you have to use a mirror jar. Or something. Like I said, I can't read them, but there is a wiki for it that I'll probably... Use. I'll obviously be using as a guide to make sure I know everything. Um, this is probably use one mirror dart. See, here's the thing here. Like, this one, for example, 8,500 power, which isn't too bad. You know, you can usually get a mirror jar off with that. So the higher chapters aren't going to be as hard. But, like, if I go to some of the earlier chapters, like, let's go... Let's go here, because this is one I was recently doing that I was having trouble with. So let's go to normal for Sophie. I think I beat it all on normal. Um, let's go to hard mode, then. Um, which one did I... I think this one might be one I had trouble with. Yeah, this is like, you have to use like two mirror jarts, and the mission, you know, 4,900 power, so the enemies are literal, like, they're, they're glass cannon, not even glass cannons. They're so squishy that I touch them and they die, so I actually, unless I physically make a team that has no equipment or anything, which I really don't want to do, I don't like unequipping my characters, so I'm not going to be doing that one. Uh, all for just, you know, for this one, it's one diamond. Um, you know, otherwise, besides that, you know, uh, the rest of these aren't too bad, so I'll probably go through all of these and uh, do those. It, like I said, the higher ones will be easier to do uh, overall. You know, once you get into, once you get chapter 10 plus, like, you're not going to have any trouble uh, getting everything done. It's just when the... When this arc first came out, I was just kind of rushing through it because I had just dropped the global version since it was going to shut down and all that uh, fun stuff there. But let's go over this real quick. So this up here. This, if you're someone who really cares about having the full voice when you redo the arc, this is what you're going to have to buy. And it's much cheaper price than I would have than I would have thought, and I'm not paying this kind of... I mean, it's basically like buying a full multi. So you click here, and as you can see here, it's 26 bucks. To get the full voice, and you get a guaranteed uh, Mirage Art Select ticket. Um, that's why I'm kind of thinking about getting it, but at the same time, I really don't want to. Is because, like Emil, for example, he is who I would select. Like if it's if it selects between all the Mirage Art, like the regular base Mirage Arts that are currently in the game, I would definitely grab Emil just so I have a second Mirage Art for him. But I also don't want to spend close to thirty bucks just for full voice, and I can't even read the stuff that's going to be on the screen. Um, so that's that. If you want to buy the full voice, or, or if you're just literally just buying it for the free select ticket, um, that's where you go for that. And then this right here. This is where you go to reset, uh, everything. So, it's, here's the thing. And I'm not gonna be able to show you this, because I'm not actually gonna do it yet, because there's still mirrored, uh, or there's still diamonds to get for me. And speaking of which, they do have Arc 1 on a half AP campaign. I don't know how long it's gonna go for. But uh, as you can see here, the AP is cut in half. It's like 9 and stuff. And then if you go to hard mode, you know, 13, which is still, you know, uh, you know, it's still uh, pretty high. But it's not as high as it could be. Um, so there is that. Uh, actually, is it even half off AP campaign? I can't even tell if it's like, it might, oh, no, no. It's probably half off when you reset it. That's probably what it is. Because these numbers actually look pretty normal. Um, so there's that. Um, it's probably like half AP or whatever when you reset it. Like I said, I'm not doing it yet. This is obviously a horrible, like, full guide as to how everything works because it's going to take me, you know, quite a, probably a week or two to actually farm out all this stuff. Luckily, there's no event dropping immediately, so I do have some time and, you know, a place to spend my AP that I don't have to worry about farming something. So yeah, so basically what you do is you'll click this, you'll click OK. You know, it basically explains it here that it's just resetting the rewards. Um, I've had a few people say that it only resets hard mode, which is completely untrue. It resets normal and hard. They'll still say clear, 
but you actually have to go in there and if you look at the rewards you'll be able to reclaim them by redoing it and then you'll click the green button there and that'll basically reset it for you so all the way here all the way from yuri and repeat and you go all the way through you'll be able to replay on normal and hard all of this all the way up to chapter 15. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, because the, these, I don't know why these didn't have numbers. Like, this is obviously 14, and this is obviously 15, which was the final chapter. So, you'll have roughly 1,800, uh, diamonds to claim from all of this. Um, you'll get roughly around there. So, that is a lot of good stuff. And I'm sure there's some mission requirements for, uh, completing revamp stuff and whatnot. So, that's why I actually... Uh, if you're watching my stream, you saw I went pretty hard on the Karia banner, and that's mainly because I knew there was going to be a lot I could farm up. Um, but other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this little breakdown. So you have to be in Arc 1 to see this. If you go to Arc 2 or 3, you'll see those two options at the top are not there because it's not the correct arc. So you have to switch to Arc 1 to even be able to see it. But uh, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um... Let me know how you guys are doing on the revamp of the story. I don't know if the missions are revamped. Like, I don't know if... I assume the change what the missions will be. Um, because I'm sure they realize that a lot of these are ridiculous. But if they don't change them, I would honestly not be surprised as well. Hopefully they are reset, though, and they're kind of like... You know, pretty much what you have to do for the R3 stuff. Like, I just got done with the... Uh, oh, whoop. Wrong arc. Um, the Arc 3 Chapter 11 stuff, I just did that whole thing on stream. As you can see, I'm 15 out of 15 for completion. And that's pretty much because all I really do there is I grab all the treasure chests, I defeat all the enemies, and I try to use as many mirror jars as I can, uh, for that. Um, and for the most part, in all these, uh, things, you're pretty much able to do that. But, uh, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more new to the channel. Uh, I'll probably have an update video whenever they start dropping news for the raid event, which will probably start on the 31st. I'm guessing next Tuesday, so a week from today, will probably be when the raid event uh, starts for that. And obviously, if you're looking for something, you know, event-wise, we do have the rerun for Mythos and Barbados. I didn't really go over it uh, too much. I probably won't put a video up for it because it's, it's pretty much a simple rerun. You know, there are tickets to grabbing it. It's not farmable. Um, pretty much every, you just do the jests while you're in battle, and then you spam mirror darts, and then you'll get mission rewards, uh, to exchange in the shop. So, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.